God, I didn't get enough sleep. Uh, I went to bed at like 2, woke up at 8, 20, and then I was like, oh, I gotta sleep more, so I slept till noon. I have to go to the gym right now because in two hours I've got Gloria coming over to be interviewed for my podcast and I gotta clean up and, and make sure the mics work and everything, but I gotta go to the gym so I'm not like a fat slob when I'm interviewing her because of course I'm gonna get into shape in the next hour. Oh boy, plot twist. I did my weights, I just ran for half an hour and then I just got a message right now from Gloria saying, hey, something came up with the documentary, can we do tomorrow? Uh, if not, I can make something work. I said, okay, fine, we'll do tomorrow. So now I guess I can run for another half hour. I'm watching Snowpiercer with uh, Chris Evans, is that his name, Captain America? It's this sci-fi movie about a train that's traveling around the world when it's all global warming. And hey, Anybody seen it? It's pretty good. All right, two words of wisdom here. First of all, this is the only time I seem to be able to catch up to things. If I'm working towards something, but then suddenly that thing disappears, like Gloria's interview. Uh, so now I'm going to catch up. I'm going to do my voice work today. I'm going to go to the bank, do some stuff. Secondly, I'm going to try something, because normally I would come home from the gym right now, and I'd lie in my bed, and I'd watch some videos to chill. But no, I think I have to keep moving, because the second I lie down and start watching videos, hours slip away. So I'm going to keep moving here. What do you call that? Perpetual motion? Uh, being productive? While I'm talking to you, though, I just want to get one thing out that I wanted to mention from last night. Uh, they were going around the table asking people how old they were, and then they came to me, and I said, should I even say? I, well, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we're at that point. I'm like, fine, I'm 45. I just turned 45 on November 12th. And Joseph, who I now realize is the Vin Diesel guy, he was like, what? Oh my God, I thought you were like in your 30s. And who said, uh, and uh, the other Raquel said, oh, I thought you were like 37. So, and then uh, Joseph like fist bumped me. He's like, good for you, man. So, yay. I'm in the bank to deposit a check and I'm looking very professional in my Ernie hat. And it matches the BMO decor because uh, blue and orange are complementary colors on the color wheel. I remember from art class in high school. Charles from the computer store in Ottawa that uh, was helping try to recover my hard drive. Well, I emailed him when I was in Ottawa and I said, hey, I could come interview you or whatever. He says, sorry, Mr. Email. By the way, I am really loving your vlogs. So another fan. Thanks, Charles. You know when I'm like doing serious business and being productive, I'm wearing my Shoppers Drug Mart reading glasses. Like, ugh, they're so dirty though. That's how you know it's, it's really me. See, it's still Josh. Surprise! You haven't seen me in my little office in a while, have you? Yeah, I haven't been here for a while. I think I got a cold two weeks ago for like a day, and then I didn't do any voice acting. Uh, but I just got a gig yesterday for some client in the States, and I just banged it out. And like, Well, I won't even say how quickly, because I don't want the guy to know how efficient I've become. I'm just like a machine with this stuff now. But that's good. And uh, 45 minutes ago, the wine club started, and I'm thinking maybe I should go. Oh, here's our message from Kathleen. What is she saying? We said at 8.30 where we're going to message Kathleen about it. And she said, we'll go at 8.30. I'm heading down. I hope everyone's not dressed up because I'm still in my gym clothes. Sexy Kathleen. By the way, for those of you who are new here, Kathleen is like a mother, like an actual mother with a daughter in her 20s. So I can say sexy Kathleen because that's flattering to her. Uh, like I know younger girls, that'd be like harassment. So I'm still, I'm a feminist. Hey, this is Wine Club and uh, Kathleen changed out of her gym clothes. So I'm going to like look better too so I've got my regular hoodie on but I'm changing into my fancy hoodie it's a bit thinner material like this thick one is Joe Fresh and this is Express I'm a bit worried because I just tagged Express there and there were two options Express and Express Men and this just says Express like there's no Express Men but does that mean like is this possibly a woman's shirt but even if it is for women that doesn't matter because I'm a feminist so I can I can dress like a woman. I can be a sexy lady who's proud of my curves. All right, I gotta go to this stupid club. Let's go. Hey, here we go. Sports bar. These are the big wooden arrows. My phone's at 10%, so I might charge it a bit, so we might not see what's going on for a bit, but... Whoa, wine club's rockin'. There's username Joyce. She just followed me on Instagram. I was telling her about my vlogs. And that's her friend Lori. So they're gonna come, they both work at Expedia, and they're gonna come on my show, and we'll talk about travel, right? Yeah. And we'll all travel together? Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, yes. Clean was a big fan of this. What is this, Moscato sweet wine? A refreshing, what da 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 So yeah, it's a very, it's, this is like drinking candy, so we're gonna get some of this for my next Friday night party. So come up for that. Go model that thing for us. Every time I'm here, I film it and I say, I want one of these for my condo. Look at that. It's like a table, but you can lie on it. Huh? 
Anybody know where I can get one of those? That would be the best thing. Maybe I'd even get a red one and get a carp. Just rode the elevator up with Kathleen. And I was like, yeah, I'll tell you about the other people later. And she's like, well, wave goodbye to me, Josh. And I was like, oh, right, bye. I should have filmed it so you could see I'm actually waving goodbye to her. But she was joking. She doesn't care because, anyways. Check it out. Some guy put four beer cans in the recycling and I pulled them out because I can return these. 10 cents each, baby. I'm rich. Okay, uh, it's like 10 o'clock and this is the exact time I need to start going to bed so that I can fix my life. Um, but I'll show you one more thing because um, I did this for you because I know this was a short day, like a short vlog. So here's a bonus for you. It's a pain in the butt for me to do a screen grab of messages I get on Instagram and then post it in the story and then comment on it and then I can't read it as I'm doing it. So I just downloaded an app just before the party that lets me show you my Instagram messages on my computer. So we can dip into the mailbag here. For instance, here is a message we got earlier today from Stephanie who says, how many hours of real life do you miss sitting at home talking to your phone? You need to get living. First of all, apologies for that crinkly sound, uh, but you're gonna be excited about what that sound was. I'll show you in a minute. But first, let's address that email. That email, that message. Um, she's wondering if I'm missing my life and I need to get living. Well, here's the thing. I'm not missing out on life by talking to my phone. Like, I'm not not doing other things because I want to stay home and talk to my phone. I'm just not doing things. I'm not living, and I'm just showing you that. So if I do start living and going out more often and stuff, I'll show you that as well. Or maybe I won't film as much from it, and I can tell you about it later. Uh, but yeah, I don't think talking to the phone is making me miss out. Although, when I'm up late having dealing with glitches and I'm not sleeping enough, that is a... Got a nice message from Jessica saying, Not to sound creepy in any way, but I thought you would like to know that it looks like the weights are paying off. You have some nice muscles in your shoulder neck region, not creepy bodybuilder definition. But I work out and look... Oh, but, quote... I work out and look good and healthy definition. Thank you very much, Jessica. I was actually noticing that a bit myself when I was doing the story shirtless today. I was like, oh, that's all right. I feel very James Bond. Like when he comes out of the water in the in Casino Royale and he's got the, the lats or whatever that is, the traps, nice. This message just came in from Hava. Even though you shaved your head, I can tell you're a true redhead because your eyebrows are red. Yes, I notice weird things like that. Al, you are very observant. It is true. Here's a Facebook uh, profile photo I had 10 years ago, 2007, and, well, that's longer ago than that. This was, who knows, I was little, but you can see my hair, very red, very curly. Oh, it was nice. Oh, and also yesterday when I was complaining about uh, the glitches with the Instagram and the Facebook, and I was saying I don't want to do long stories anymore, uh, Haya, or Hava replied, no, don't stop recording long Instagram stories, I love them. You are funny and you do have a dry sense of humor and everything just comes to you, you never try... Oh, no, this part is probably about when uh, when I said that Joseph said I was really funny and he wants to hang out with me. So she was saying, yeah, you never try to force a joke and it shows that's why people like you. And then some Israeli flags. I would love to be loved in Israel like Gal Gadot is. Oh, and yesterday, uh, Raquel replied, because I said in my story when I was running late for her party, I was like, well, wait a minute, she didn't even come to my birthday party, so I don't owe her anything. And she says, also, in defense, you invited me to your B-Day thing the night of, like, an hour into it already, otherwise I would have come hot. So I told her I was just reassuring myself to make myself not feel guilty. I have to remember what I'm thinking in my head and what I'm saying out loud to my phone. Yeah, I didn't even realize I had said that to my vlog. I was like, how did you know? Um, but anyway, she says, I want to redact justice for Raquel. 